Hey, what's going on? Tiny TK out here. I'm yeah. in the Bronx and I'm getting ready to head over to Harlem on to a new up and coming block where I'm going to be going to an open house where they are selling this apartment on a very depressed block and they've converted over some low house, low income housing into condominiums which they're going to be selling for $800,000 each. And there are people who are like, gentrification is a good thing. But how can gentrification be a good thing when people are using economics and financial ability in order to separate people pretty much by, by race? Seriously. People who were there before are not able to afford $800,000 housing. So pretty much they're being forced out of their neighborhood. And only the people who are able to afford that, which are people who don't look like them, are moving in. Here and I'm having a day in Harlem. Oh, uh, is it broccoli in my teeth? <laughs> no, good question. <laughs> this is broccoli. It's not broccoli. Oh, well, it's green. That's anyway. grass from when you were chewing. Anyway, listen, I was not grazing. Anyway, Tiny TKO here, and I'm having a day in Harlem with my good friend, the incredible star. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right, so today has been a pretty awesome day so far. We went to the fish store, got some salmon, which was steamed right before our it eyes. It was slamming. Are you born? <laughs> there you go. All right. And see, this is the salmon right here. They gave us. So we got the vegetables and the salmon. Then we went to, um, then we went to like this little African mart, and I got this really beautiful skirt here. Look at this skirt. Can you see me? Yes. It's a wrap around. Yeah. Do you, don't you just love it? But isn't it lovely? Look. on a somewhat depressed block, but they changed over some low-income housing into condominiums. People who used to live there before who can no longer afford to be able to stay in the area. So in essence, it's a way of economically pushing out certain races if you know that certain races don't have a certain reservoir of money or finances in their community. So we're going to go look at that, and then after that, what are we going to do? Mm, probably a movie. Then we're going to go to the movie. Are we going to the Magic Johnson Theater? Sure, why not? We're going to support the Magic Johnson Theater on 125th Street. I might even stop by the new Mac store on 125th to get a sharpener for my lipstick pencil. And um, so this is the beginning of our day in Harlem. I'm going to have to come back and take a look at that mark because I got some shea butter with my shea butter. I got some African shea butter. The guy said it's straight from the motherland. And I usually get the one that's like kind of like a rock. That's not straight from the motherland. That's straight from the China man. It says product of Ghana, not China. Ghana. Can you zoom in on that? Where it says Ghana. Do you see that? I'm supporting my African brothers and sisters. Wapale! I'm just joking. That's, that's, uh, that's Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so let's, keep, let's, let's get going. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to use the camera inside this new $800,000 luxury apartment on a depressed block. And what I asked it is the hope of the people to get the renters and people who cannot afford to live there out of the area. So you know who that is, right? And this is Harlem. Holla, if you hear me, we'll be back. You know, I'm about four weeks into my fitness challenge, but you know, my friend here is very slender. How slender he is. <laughs> <laughs> very slender, and he has convinced me to go into Harlem's own Make My Cake. Right, and you know I have a weakness for red velvet, so I'm just gonna go and take a quick look. He said he might go half and half on one with me, but um, but we'll see. So we're here now. Yeah. Oh, butter cream. Okay. So, well, how much is a slice of cake? 
cupcake and how much is a cupcake? And the cupcake is three fifty. This is my cupcake. Let me try a little bit of it. See what it's like. Wow. They are so wrong for this. Mm. I'm sorry, I was stunned by how good this cake is. So you have an extra deep cola tuff here. Okay. Yeah. These are Italian fixtures. Is this travertine? No. No, it's tile. Just tile? It's okay. Tile. Beautiful. Yeah. And you'll never have to replace it. No, exactly. Exactly. Who controls the temperature? You do. You can turn your air conditioning on. Did we do it? This is so nice. This is not, this space is fast and granite, glass tiles. Oh. This has a kind of a 3D look from here. Yeah, they do. They do because of the color mm -hmm. and variation. Oh, wow, yes. Stainless steel inside and out. Mm -hmm. A lot of cabinet space. Yeah, beautiful. Very nice. They all have those drawers, you know, they can swing back in. Of course. That's the latest thing, right? <laughs> this is microwave convection or? No, I think it's just straight just microwave. Right when you ring, okay. you can see. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Let me call you back. I mean, we did this layout because we had the furniture. Like mm -hmm. I mean, I would make this maybe the dining room. Okay. Very nice. Oh, so this is the upstairs. This is the upstairs. Oh, and then the stairs lead down. Yeah. Oh, I'm in love. Oh, my yeah, goodness. I'm going to tell you something that I, I want to sell this place. <laughs> I'm, I love this space. I love it. I wow. come in here and like everything like just sort of like it's it really is, calm. It's, it's a different calm. environment down here. Right? The whole, the whole Oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. So this is a half bath. Okay, let me tell you this story. I think this was like, when I was looking at it from upstairs, it looked like a common area, but this is just for this apartment? Mm -hmm. There's an extra part for this apartment. Oh. oh. This right. apartment is like... I'm surprised other people didn't take it. How, how many are occupied? Everything. This is the last one? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I can tell you. I, I don't have any... This is so lovely. It almost brings there. tears there's to my eyes. There. There's no noise. It's so that place and my heart breaks for it because wouldn't it be nice wouldn't it be nice and it's like you know I'm gonna talk more about that later but when you know that there's a particular group of society that doesn't really have their finances up to a certain level and you make things financially impossible for them to get you know or anybody like them to get then you sort of kind of exclude people by their race According to the 2006 U.S. Census report, the mid-20th percentile of black family income was $38,500.
the mid 20th percentile of white family income was $65,800. The lower 20th percentile of black family income was $7,900, whereas the lowest 20th percentile of white family income was $19,400. And this does not include money inherited and passed down for generation after generation from grandparent to child and parent to child for 400 years. And why is this important? In order to purchase real estate, a mandatory down payment of 20% is necessary. For an $800,000 property, that down payment is $160,000. Now, where would a person without inheritance be able to come up with $160,000 in cash? Subscribe today. Be sure to leave a comment. Rate it now. TanyaTJoes.com. We down here on 121 in St. Nick. But I remember coming out here as a teenager and it didn't look like this. People don't want to gentrify because not only are you coming in, but because you're coming in, other people can't stay. I don't think that everybody can, you know, live together. I think people are separated by their income brackets, by their I'm race. I'm sorry, I just had to get this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Apollo. World so famous Apollo Theater. So now we're being taken to the underground African spot where we can right. get everything one, African. You said you're from Africa. Africa. Yes. Which part? I'm from Burkina Faso. You're from Burkina Faso? Yeah, have you heard about it? Yes, of course. Who hasn't? <laughs>